Hello and welcome to the Mill Street building at the Kingston School of Art, an engine of creativity in the Kingston suburbs. The first and most obvious thing to say about this building is that it's a retrofit. That means we've taken an existing building, one designed and built for us in 1975, and we've carefully reworked it to make cutting edge art spaces for today's community of students. We engaged Sterling Prize winning architects Howard Tompkins, and they've carefully woven the old with the new through a process of extensive engagement both with our society of students and the wider community that surrounds us. Because we're a big building in a space full of low houses, and we're aware of that relationship and its value to us. And so this is about sustainability at its heart, the physical sustainability of a building through its careful reuse for today's generations and the social sustainability of building a community of students on this site in their collective sharing of knowledge and the sharing of that world with the community that surrounds us and sustains us. At the heart of the building and in truth everything we do here are these vast workshops. They are already world leading before this project, but we've pushed them further, augmented them in the scales of spaces and in the types of activities that our students can engage with. We have a phrase here in Kingston, thinking through making, and it's not some PR buzzword. What we mean is that our students transform reality by engaging with its found materials and its found conditions. They don't go separately into rooms to think abstractly, but they connect on floors like this to learn from each other and from the materials they're manipulating. So this room full of machinery is in fact full of possibility because in this integrated landscape of making and thinking, our students come together to learn from each other by osmosis and by engagement. You frequently find architects working beside fashion designers, artists beside product designers, because in some essential sense, there are no divisions. It's about finding out together, about working out how the world might be manipulated, how you might transform reality by engaging with its found conditions. This is what excites me about this space, is this potential of what is to come, grounded in the tangible realities of what we have now. The design challenge here was really about what to remove, what to keep and what to add, and being careful about those things. And essentially it boils down to a number of really key ideas, like how the existing structure is kept and the building has been wrapped up in new glazing and insulation to dramatically reduce our carbon emissions. And inside, it's been about removing walls, about opening up visual linkages and providing acoustic separation. Effectively, we're building an enabling infrastructure where our life walking around this building is constantly full of delight, seeing the activities of colleagues and students making beautiful work in remarkable spaces, allowing us to see the world anew.